His name is Tony Schiavone. He received his penalty notice back in 2020 for parking in a private car park in Landranog, but refused to pay it because he said, I'm Welsh and that needs to be written in Welsh. The Welsh language has equal status with English under the Welsh Language Act, but only applies to the public sector and not private. And the trouble is that the parking ticket was from a private company. And we know that they are pretty much a law unto themselves. Magistrates in Aberystwyth ruled against Tony and allowed the parking company company to claim costs and Tony's been ordered as a result to pay a total of £266. He's not impressed. He says the Welsh language is an official and equal language in Wales and Welsh speakers have rights that should be respected and he's saying he is still not going to pay. Love to know your thoughts on whether you think actually he's, he's damn right to do this and to say I'm not paying unless you can speak my language. Vine at bbc.co.uk is the email, text us 88291 or get in touch on the WhatsApp. So Tony Schiavone, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Could you. Tell me, first of all, if you don't mind, the circumstances of the fine. Where were you parked? I went to a car park in San Granog, which is one of my local beaches. Yes. I've been going to that uh, beach for the last 70-odd years. I went into the car park. I was there for about half an hour, just buying a coffee. I didn't actually park the car. And then um, I left. And I didn't uh, pay the parking uh, Did, charge. Wait, Not deliberately, the, I just was, didn't think about it. Understood. Was the, pick, was, the, was the ticket applied to your car then or was it picked up later on a camera? It was picked up on a camera. Mm, classic, is it so annoying, isn't it? So what, you got a letter, did you? I got a letter um, and I responded within a couple of days in a, with a bilingual letter requesting correspondence to the medium of Welsh. I then followed that up with a phone call explaining my position and pointing out that this is a well-speaking part of Wales and we in Wales should be treated uh, with equal respect if we speak Welsh as, as, as if we speak English. But the, the parking fine letter was all in English, was it, just to be clear? It was all in English. Would, uh, it surprises me that. I would have thought they would, they would naturally have given a translation even if, even if it was down the bottom just to, just to obey the rules. But the, I think you've, you've realised there are no rules here. Uh, that's the trouble. The Welsh Language Act, as you said, doesn't apply to the private sector. Although I need to point out that there are other parking companies who've recognised the Welsh language and who do provide bilingual correspondence. An example of that is in Cardigan, where Parking Eye Limited have a car park. And if you park there, you will automatically get a, a parking notice, which is bilingual, both in Welsh and in English. And once they realised that you were serious about this and you were going to not pay... Even then, they didn't send you a Welsh letter? No, uh, they didn't. And I sent a second letter pointing this out to them and a further phone call and explaining that I would take this the whole way to the courts if necessary, and I have done so. And, I mean, we may have people call in and say, look, the best solution to this is to not park illegally in the first place. So forgive me, Tony, you're going to have to give me your answer before they ring and say that. I, I'm willing to pay the fine. That's not a problem. I'm perplexed by the fact that it only costs, what, 50 to 60 pounds to translate the letter into Welsh. And they spent literally thousands of pounds in taking me to court. I cannot understand that attitude. And I just assume it's a prejudice against the Welsh language. Uh, well, I wonder whether if, they, if, they, if you win, they may have to rescind literally thousands of parking fines going back because everyone will then say, well, wait a minute, I'm offended too. Possibly, but that doesn't stop them from... Going forward, they could have resolved that situation by immediately saying, we accept your situation, we'll now correspond with you uh, through a bilingual letter or a Welsh letter. Now, the, the parking charge, I understand, was £100, was it? It was £60 and it was increased to £100. And as many, many of your listeners know, these companies are very aggressive and bullying in the way that they increase the charges and they even uh, send you a debt collector yeah. notices suggesting that they come and collect money from your uh, or, uh, material from your home, even though they don't have uh, the right to do that until they go to court. Would it not be easier just at this point, and I think I know what you're going to say to this, Tony, it's just to say, OK, look, I've, I've lost this one, I'm going to have to pay. I don't think I have lost it. I mean, you very eloquently explained my position, and that has gone out to many people right across uh, the countries of Britain, which I think reinforces understanding of the Welsh language and I think well, I've had as much support from English speakers as I had from Welsh speakers towards the stand I'm taking. We will win this argument. It just takes time and effort and I've been campaigning for over uh, 50 years 
for uh, improved status for the Welsh language. I'm used to having to battle. Thank you very much indeed for talking to us about your battle. Tony Schiavone, who had a pen- penalty notice for bad parking and, and ha- is not paying it because it is not in his main language of Welsh.